do allergy shots or allergy drops have any place in the food allergy spectrum? Oh, that's a great question. So allergy shots for food allergy, definitely not. The initial studies of those, there were profound reactions with those and those were just stopped completely. Yeah. So if someone is proposing an allergy shot for a food allergen, that would make me exceptionally nervous. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was a fatality in one of the original studies way back when. So that that is a no-go. The allergy, you know, sublingual immunotherapy or oral immunotherapy for foods is is very real and is a very hot topic that is being looked at this is only in regard to ige or anaphylactic risk foods that we do this to i think there will be a really great place for using this at some point in time although my sense is and i think even the lead researchers that look at sublingual immunotherapy for foods or oral immunotherapy for foods is that it's probably not going to be the long-term solution for food allergy it may be an interlude that we have for now to to calm down that level of reactivity for a particular patient because it's the best we have. But there's yeah. a fair amount of risk involved in it, and it does require pretty rigorous dosing, pretty routine dosing. What bothers me with it the most is the limitations that you'll have with it. So when you are doing oral immunotherapy, for instance, there's a limitation in your ability to exercise for a few hours after your dose, and you're supposed to take that dose every day. And so I struggle yeah. with that for kids because I don't want them to have to sit still for two to three hours every day of their life so they don't break. Yeah.